Hey there Odoo users, today I'll be showing you a feature in Odoo version 18 and that is the setup of approval rules. Um, so I'll be showing you how you can set up some of these approval rules on a number of models but for right now we'll be working with the sales application. I went ahead and set up an approval for the confirmation of a sales order. So before or whenever a user is clicking on this confirm button, I set up an approval um, for the admin account to confirm whether or not they would like a user to confirm the order. This is actually set up via Odoo Studio. So once you click into Odoo Studio, you can select the area which you would like to set up an approval for. Um, so in this case, you would just click the confirm button and we can see this uh, approvals menu. Under this list, you can select an individual approver. Um, so that would be a num either one uh, user or a number of users, um, which you can manually select here. Or you can select a group of users based off of their access rights as well. Um, and so we also have a users to notify field. This will inform or send a notification to this particular user once an approval or rejection is confirmed. Um, so this is uh, sent via an internal note. And then also you have the ability to add a description to this approval. Um, so this will give some context to the person who is approving the item um, to give them some information as to what actually is happening here. So I just added some text. The user would like to confirm the sales order. Please review. And then you can also add some additional approval steps um, within the configuration as well. So this is just a simple workflow that's confirmed and set up and now you can just close out Odoo Studio. Now I'm logged in as admin so I'll log in as the demo account right now and then we can log in and now we're logged in as Mark Demo. Now uh, we can navigate to the sales app and let's duplicate the sales order and we can attempt to confirm it. Now we can see here an error message is prompted showing that an approval is missing. We can see an activity is generated automatically for Mitchell admin showing to grant approval and we can see here that it is due on today's date um, and it was also showing when it was created as well. Now if we log back into our admin account. And we can see here that there is an activity grant approval. Um, and so if we also go to our activities list, we can see here that it's also showing up as uh, the grant approval required. So now the that the uh, approver has been able to review uh, the said document, you can mark the uh, review as done. Um, and now we can see here that it has been marked as approved and the grant approval is now marked as done, the activity. So we can log back in as our demo account. Navigate back to our sales order. So now we're lo logged in as Mark Demo. Um, and now we can see here that the grant approval is now marked as done. And so it's showing us as a cleared button, showing as approved, and we can now go ahead and confirm our order. And that's basically it for this workflow. You have the ability to set up approvals for a number of different fields in Odoo, and it's very quickly um, able to be configured. So on the fly, you can set up some approvals um, in a number of different areas. If you have any questions or concerns related to Odoo, anything at all, we'd be more than happy to assist. Thanks so much for watching.